hey there rookies, so you bought a rental and you need to get some of that cash out of your property. In this video, I'm gonna go over the cash out refinance versus the HELOC, the pros and cons of each. It's gonna be a battle so you can get your money out. Let's do this. Hey there friends, my name is Anson Young. I'm a real estate agent and investor here in Denver, Colorado, doing some wholesales, fix and flips, and burr type investing in multiple states. I'm also the author of Finding and Funding Great Deals, which is out through our friends at Bigger Pockets. Speaking of Bigger Pockets, you're right here on their rookie YouTube channel. So please leave them a like, subscribe, leave a comment down below. Tell me what you like better for your strategy, HELOC versus refi, what you've done, what you're looking at doing, and I'd love to hear it. So it's time to get money out of your property. Do you do a HELOC? Do you do a refinance? Which direction do you go? Which one's better? Maybe we could turn the BRRR, the B-R-R-R-R, into a B-R-R-H-R, HELOC. Maybe the HELOC is better for the BRRR method. I don't know, let's find out. With the cash out refinance, most investors are trying to get some of that equity back out of their property in the terms of getting a new loan and having it having it be bigger so that you're taking some of that cash back out to go do whatever you want with it. I don't know, buy a new property, pay off some loans, pay off your bookie, pay off your aunt. I don't know, it's your money. Do with it what you will. And a lot of times investors are hoping to reduce their interest rate as well. So when the interest rates are going down, you refinance so that your payment is lower. So if you can get cash out and have a lower payment, it's kind of a win-win, right? Since the refinance is technically a new loan, it comes with a bunch of new loan fun things like closing costs for your new loan, which might eat into your cash flow, it might eat into your reserves, and it comes with a new interest rate which goes off of the market interest rates. So right now, as I'm filming this, the interest rates are going up and they're higher than they have been in the last few years. So you're not going to save money by refinancing right now. You might be able to pull that money out and your payment will be much higher because the interest rates are higher on top of your new loan amount. And also with the refinance, you do reset your clock. So if it's a 30 year loan and you're five years into it and you refinance, most of the time you reset your clock and you're back on 30 years and you lose out on that five years of interest that you already paid in. Some lenders will do a loan modification refi where the amortization, the amount, the years that the loan is stays the same. So you might be able to keep that 25 years, but depends on the lender. A good thing about refinancing is that the rate is fixed. So it's not going to fluctuate with the market, which is really great for long-term investing. Let's talk HELOCs now. And if you don't know, a HELOC is a home equity line of credit. This is like a second mortgage on your home that acts a little bit more like a credit card than a loan. You don't get that entire amount up front. You get kind of a credit line that goes against your equity. And unlike a credit card, if you don't pay your HELOC, they can foreclose on you. So I guess it's not quite like a credit card in that respect. So make your HELOC payments if you wanna keep your house. If you take out a HELOC and you never use it, you never borrow against it, you won't have any higher payments. Just like a credit card. If you have a credit card with a zero balance, you're not paying any payments, right? But a HELOC can penalize you if you don't use it. So after a year or two, they might penalize you in the form of a fee or they might just close down your whole account just because you've never used it. So you gotta kinda pay attention to what's going on and what the terms are so that you're not getting fined or getting it closed out on you when you think you need it. Some HELOCs have an adjustable rate, which means that it can fluctuate with the market, but most don't. So definitely shop around when you're doing your HELOC to figure out if you have an adjustable rate, a fixed rate, all that fun stuff. And speaking of rates, Right now, HELOCs are actually cheaper on your APR than a refinance. Banks are offering these kind of really great rates that are sometimes half 
or two-thirds the amount of a refi rate in order to get people to do a HELOC instead of a refi. Let's say you close on something else and you pay off your HELOC on your rental property. Now you have that line of credit available to use for your next property or paying off your aunt or whatever it is you do with your money. Type down below what you do with your money. Nah, never mind. So there really is no right answer. It's going to depend on you, where your properties are at in your business plan, what you're looking to do, your goals, all of those things to see if cash out refinance or a HELOC is better for you right now. With the lower rates on HELOCs than a cash out refinance, now might be the time to do a HELOC and then later on refinance when the rates go down. It could be a really great win-win scenario. There are quite a lot of options, so definitely talk to some banks, credit unions, and some lenders to see what the options are, what that looks like for you. So there you have it. Go out there, take some massive action, and thank you so much for watching. Again, my name is Anson Young. If you want to find me, find me on Instagram, find me on YouTube. I'd love to hear from you. And until then, happy investing. We'll see you next time.